just arrived in Tokyo. Starting my tour of the Orient, right here in Japan. It's a bustling city. Oh my god, it's the Godzilla alert. Godzilla's on his way. No, I'm just kidding. There's really no such thing. It's just a movie character, and I don't think we'll have any problem with it. But if we do, I'll be sure to alert you, the viewer. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this entire tour starting here in Tokyo. Now I'm gonna go find me some sushi, so I'll talk to you later. Japan is a country that is the same size in area as California, but it has a population of 130 million people. Look at this! That's Tokyo out there! Isn't that something? P.A. Rowdy here, on my tour of the Orient here in Tokyo, as you know. Now that alarm you hear in the background is alerting everyone that Godzilla does exist. <coughs> it's, it's an actual gigantic lizard that's coming out of the ocean right now and is getting ready to attack the city. As you can see, people are abandoning the city. There's hardly anybody here now. It's almost all vacated because they don't want to be eaten up by Godzilla. You know how it goes. So I gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna go to the bomb shelter and, and hide away until it's safe. When that alarm is done, then I'll come back out and we'll continue on with the tour, all right? All right. P.A. Rudy here, multimillionaire and philanthropist, as you know, continuing on with our journey through Tokyo. Now, as you know, the alarm went off last night because there was a Godzilla alert. He was rampaging through the uh, southern region of the city, but they got the Air Force on him right away and scared him off. Now, I am planning on doing a lot of investing here in Japan for a good reason. Because every time Godzilla comes along and knocks down most of the city, they have a lot of rebuilding to do, and that means lots of contracts for cement and concrete and glass and architects and engineers. I'm gonna make a mint off of this. It's great. I love big catastrophes where you have to go in and rebuild because I, I supply the money. I'm the, I'm the man that gives the high interest rates to those that need it in their times of, of need. So uh, next time the giant lizard comes along and destroys everything, I'll be right there to, to help him rebuild at a very high price, of course, because that's just the way I do things. And I've got a, uh, a bit of a mon monopoly on all this cement and glass in this region, so uh, I really think they'll be, they'll be needing me quite a lot. So, oh, there was that alarm again. I wonder which party's going to knock down this time. It's a good thing I'm here, isn't it? A real good thing. All right, I'm going to go to another shelter, okay, and then I'll come out afterwards. See ya. We just braved the subway system here in Tokyo, and we are successful. We're in the Ginza district, so let us move along. It's the Times Square of Tokyo, so here we go. Well, we made it. We're here in the Ginza district of Tokyo. Now, I've taken over the power and light company, so uh, the way they light up this area, I'm going to be charging them a little bit more than the usual rate. I feel like this is necessary to, to help my pocketbook get bigger and bigger. Uh, now, I go to all the big neon light capitals, buy up the power companies, and then I, I hold them, I rake them over the coals, and I put them right over my knee, and I say, I'll spank you unless you pay these higher rates. And of course, they don't want to lose the business and the tourism, so they have to pay. They have to keep lighting it up. It's wonderful. All right, well, enjoy your view of this, the famous Ginza district of Tokyo. Tokyo is the world's largest city with a metropolitan population of 33 million people. And this is the Tokyo Tower, a total ripoff of the Eiffel Tower. But I love people who rip off other people. I'm now about to have the holy cleansing of the water. Fresh and energized, ready to conquer a new empire.
All right, so we're doing this, everyone, to have uh, better luck in their lives, healing, this sort of thing. Of course, uh, uh, you might think I've had one of these in my basement because I'm such a lucky man being a multi-millionaire. But this is the first time I've seen one of these, so really, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Smoke is going in my hair. There you go. For more success and more profits with the PA Roadie Empire. So what do you think? Isn't this nice? Oh, the yes. belly? Uh, You're supposed to pet okay. the belly. See? The he's belly. All right. All right. There, there you go. Seat. Wonderful. All right. Wonderful, okay. wonderful. Well. And over here you can see the Tokyo Sperm Bank with the gigantic sperm on top. I go there to make donations all the time. It's just good fun. Tokyo was utterly destroyed two times in the 20th century. In 1920, a gigantic earthquake leveled the city and then a fire consumed the remains. And then in 1945, at the end of World War II, the Americans firebombed Tokyo and it was obliterated. Around 100,000 people perished. So it's not just Hiroshima and Nagasaki that were wiped off the map, so was Tokyo. But now it is rebuilt and it's futuristic and it's stronger than ever. Other than all of those Godzilla attacks, this is where they keep all of the buses that will evacuate the wonderful people of Tokyo the next time Godzilla comes around. There are at least a good 34 buses, and for those people that can't fit on those, here are the bicycles that they can use as their backup mode of transportation.